Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Philip. I'm also known as PS, RPS Enough. Uh, this video I'm gonna talk about one uh, project in particular that I've been Cozy developing memory. on the last few Red months. Um, it was made way. during a creative Finding residency clothes. that I helped organize. Um, the residency took place in Convento da Saudação, in Montemor o Novo, in Portugal. Uh, it was uh, held in... Uh, collaboration with Audience Zero, which is a network of different uh, media uh, spaces, hacker Finding spaces um, in Portugal, um, which has been ha operating since 2008, I believe, uh, this network of different of different uh, laboratories across across Portugal. Red I'm part of it. I helped found uh, XDA in uh, XDA in uh, Coimbra. And uh, we had some residencies with Espaço do Tempo before. Espaço do Tempo is a, an association in uh, Montemor that usually does uh, things related with uh, dance, theater. But they also like new technologies, so they were open to us having a residency there. Once again, we selected 13 projects for the residency. Mine was one of them. And uh, yeah, this video is to talk about uh, the project memory. in particular. So this project Red that I developed this um, way. is an interactive project. Finding so uh, you can interact with it in different ways. I will explain what they are in a moment. It was based on haikus. And if you don't know what the haiku is, it's a form of uh, Japanese poetry, very minimalistic. Cozy and uh, usually... Red brown with references to uh, the different seasons Finding of the year clothes. so you can have s uh, references to spring or winter or summer uh, usually there is like animals or fruits of the season that remind you uh, of that season and also also um, it follows a certain uh, metric of sound take this way. Um, I believe Finding it's clothes. 5 11 5 I'm not sure anymore it was a few months since I did that. I, I, I forget about it now. But there are a couple of metrics, of, of phonographic metrics, that it, they are Cozy used to be considered an original haiku. Of way. course, uh, when you Finding translate clothes. it into Western language, not Japanese language, it loses the phonetic sounds. It sort of translates to syllabus, but not quite. Uh, there are some rules to sort of figure out Cozy a memory. proper phonetic way to, to do them in English. But anyways, I digress. So this is uh, the project is based around an haiku. And at a few um, years ago, I did this uh, editor that you could use online to replace uh, certain words of the cozy haiku memory. so you could uh, change Red the first word for example this in this way. case cozy memory Finding instead of clothes. cozy you could say alert memory or vague memory uh, use another word instead of cozy so I did an editor where you could replace uh, certain words with synonyms or cozy memory. antonyms something that Red would make the take this poem slightly different Finding clothes. so after all these years i decided to pick up this project again and try to uh, bring it up to speed uh, I try to focus it, make it more interactive uh, for multiple people, Red not just one person doing a creation way. and then sharing Finding the generative clothes. result, which I had already done before, but instead uh, allowing multiple people to control multiple parts of the haiku so that it becomes a collaborative work. And uh, that's Cozy where the memory. name came for the project. It's called Red Collaborative Haiku Dream. And I will Finding let you know what clothes. the dream part means in the end. Multiple people can control the haiku. And uh, the more people that are connected to the network in this specific address, uh, you can see an example here. You, I have this web page open at localhost. And Red I am giving a choice this way. between what uh, word clothes. I can control on the end of the first line. So it can be memory. Can be Petri Shore, it can be Matriarch, Matriarch. it can be Seans. Seans. I have four options, and if another person would connect at the same time, he would get a different parameter to control. Not this particular uh, word. This one is reserved for this connection. It will get another one. 
So theoretically, uh, if 10 people would get come uh, uh, log in into the application Cozy right now, seance. you would have uh, each person controlling a different word. And the idea Finding is clothes. to have to form a haiku collaboratively. So all of you think what you want the haiku to be and select the best one and uh, try to find Cozy the best seance. haiku possible in your collective Red brown mind. Hands take this, way. this is of course Finding very hard clothes. because the more collaborative way you have, the more you try to fiddle around with it and you end up not being able to appreciate what is actually being seen or actually um, even Cozy the meaning of the haiku itself Red loses brown hands take this meaning, way. like you stop Finding caring about clothes. what the haiku says, you just want to see things changing. So this project was also a bit of a reflection on that uh, human behavior. Um, so yeah, I tried to put as much parameters as possible and then just watch how Red people uh, interact way. with that while it Finding was being uh, shown to the public. I will give my conclusions later on, but for now I wanted to talk about the visuals. There are uh, different visuals uh, available. Uh, first of all, there are multiple forms of the haiku. I did overall Red brown hands nine take this versions, way. I believe. I have Finding a list of clothes. Here. I did two for autumn, three for spring, two for summer, and two for winter. So if I uh, change the season here, I have a hotkey to do that. You can see now uh, I have uh, another this season. Went. This Close. one is summer With one, it glory, says here the on, the, on the bottom. And this one is spring. This one is autumn two. So you can see I have the different um, different ones available. And each of these nine variants has the same base Cozy haiku, uh, but uh, brown hands different variants have way. a different haiku, obviously. Finding I tried clothes. to find an image that would sort of fit the overall feeling of the haiku, and then I did multiple versions of it, um, doing uh, a style transfer Cozy using a uh, technique that is called uh, hands deep, take this way. deep dream or Finding neural clothes. networks doing deep dream generator our technology based on that is actually called style GAN and uh, GAN stands for generative adversarial networks Red brown uh, hands take which this way. means that the Finding neural network clothes. which is basically an algorithm uh, determines it's trained for a certain style and then it tries to see if the result if applying that style is a good enough Cozy result seance. and if it's not a good enough result it tries again this way. and they compete hence Finding the adversarial uh, word in that in that uh, signal I mean that uh, what's it called when it's three letters anyways doesn't matter um, they keep competing until they find Cozy an optimum seance. result which Red brown the hands take this competing way. algorithm Finding cannot clothes. tell the difference between the original and uh, the created style so using this there are some sites that use this uh, neural networks technique that has been booming on the last few years and Cozy one seance. site that i use a lot of and you can Red find some several videos of me doing some different sessions uh, experimenting with this website it's called deep dream generator it has this uh, style can technique they call it hard style transfer you can select an original image a style transfer image and it transfers uh, Cozy the, the um, style image that you selected it tries to apply that style into Finding the original clothes. image um so i did that for like 30 different styles i picked the best ones i tried to preserve colors in some of them to make sure that they are still recognizable somewhat. Cozy seance. And I did a few transition effects as Red well between the image. Right now it's doing uh, points, Finding like just the drawing points all over them. And if I change, like this one is just uh, cross-fading between them really fast. Whenever you change one of the words, it uh, restarts this uh, effect Darkest of isolation. doing a lot of transition between a the different effects dream. and if you just wait the cold it shows you a little bit more of this effect and eventually after a few seconds it changes to the next one 
Uh, same thing with the sentence. If you wait one second or a little more than one second, I don't know how much it is exactly, maybe 20 Darkest seconds, isolation. something like that, it will a night of gray uh, dream. text to speech the, the whole snow. poem. Wasn't my original intent, but during the residency, some people suggested it and I wanted to try it out, so I left it like that. I don't particularly like it. I think it's more confusing than, than actually enhances, but it, it gives a certain isolation. mechanical a dream. or computer the vibe to the whole thing. So it sort of works, sort of doesn't, I don't know. Um, also worth mentioning is that during the um, during the um, the installation, uh, this was projected on a, on a big screen, a night and of dream. I had also um, a button that you could press to do the pretty much the same thing that I'm doing here by hitting the the key C, which is to change the entire. Uh, the entire parameters of the thing uh, the picks a random um, with great a random glory. form and also randomizes the words and the parameters around them there are different parameters available for the users to control um, the words is one of them or each of the word that you can change is one of them uh, the, the other one you can you can see that we got it right here now glory. is the, the form cricket that it's shown visually. I have three forms that I uh, developed during the residency. The Polaroid feeling is, feels like this white border with uh, some blue marker writing, uh, writings on top of it. Uh, the old frame, you've already frame. seen it before. Feel, it's like an old frame that I just got an image out of the internet. I did this little overlay here with the title of this thing which is an actual uh, very computer-like title, like Summer 2. And that was on purpose. I wanted to, to give uh, titles to the pieces this of the wins. seasons that were Close. like With clearly computer-influenced in the, in the serial line kind of factory thing. And left, left text is just text. another variant where you have left text up. Where you have the text up here in the left that's that and the cleverest idea that i had to call it was left text um so yeah this is pretty much the the project uh it was interesting to see how people would this react Close. Um, With great glory, the call the for people to use to log in into the network and actually try to to use it wasn't very effective i think you need actually a person there all the time incentivating everyone who shows up to log in and try out the the, the effect i also this found some uh, field With recordings glory, that were taken from uh, freesound.org i believe it's the name of the website and uh, i just put them on the background just to give a little ambience to to the whole to the whole thing i think you might be hearing them in the background now but as I was saying, Close. people don't really With react glory, that well to logging in. They they feel like it's too much work. It, but it, it depends a lot on the age of the person. Uh, one thing that's pretty horizontal to all interactive installations, the younger people are, the, the more they Close. With jump great glory, into just the interacting and trying things out. When you say that you can interact, the older people are... It seems that they are more afraid of maybe doing the wrong thing or I don't know why, but people don't feel like interacting as much. They just look at it this and went. then they go away. Close. They don't With want to glory. go there and actually touch it. They are interested in it, but they don't feel like, like touching. So I had some people who actually um, asked questions and wanted to interact, but most of them, it felt like it was a bit forced. People are not very used to interacting with pieces. This it's usually wind. better if it's Close. something that just with great glory, happens that you immediately are interacting with it without you even really noticing it. So I had two ways of interacting. The first one was having your smartphone or whatever you want to use, a tablet or even computer, 
log into a specific wins. network, go Close. to this address the on glory. a browser, the and you would have uh, a screen similar to this, where you would have four different options for whatever parameter it would be assigned to you. And you could have up to 25 people, I think. It's the number of parameters that were available at the same time, controlling different things. And that would be Close. the most fun the part glory. of the, the whole cricket. experiment. But um, I realized that it didn't really work very well. People were lazy to log in. Uh, maybe if it was something more massified, if it was really on the internet instead of the local host, you would have more people interacting, but then you wouldn't see people this close to you also interacting, close. so it would be great different. Glory, the cricket. I don't know. Um, what did work was that I had a button next to, to the installation, and it was blinking, so people could see that they could interact, and I printed a, a screen uh, or a text page next to the installation the saying these Close. are the modes of interaction you can either go to the, the uh, smartphone and go to this network go to this address or you can press the big the big white button and it's a lot easier to just press a button so a lot of people did that um especially the kids like playing with the button and for me it's like a panic Close. button it with just resets glory. everything and it makes it more interactive but uh, my conclusion in the end was that I would probably had more would have had more success with the piece and people interacting with the piece. I had like a big board of different this buttons, each one for each uh, of with these parameters, glory, the and we would just each button would just cycle through all the options, all the parameters, and people could just hit around whatever they would like. So that was my conclusion from uh, the piece. I don't know if I will ever ex exhibit it uh, again uh, anywhere else. Um, it is Close. open source on my glory. GitHub, so the feel cricket. free to go there on github.com slash psenough slash assisted underscore performer. I have several pieces uh, done with assisted performer. This one in particular is called, uh, I, I think actually the... the sea the wind. Close. The With branch name glory. is called Residency Expand or just Expand, but the official name is Collaborative Haiku Dream. So I, I might change it at some point for that. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about this piece. Um, let me know what you think about this it on wind. the comments below. Um, great glory. If you have, the cricket. Um, if you want to buy the piece, you could. You could. Uh, put it with a frame on your window and people could log in. I could do a custom board for you to uh, hit the buttons and uh, trigger it. Um, I would be up for that this if you went. are interested. Close with great uh, glory. If you just the want cricket. to try out or check out the source code, it's available for free on github.com. And if you would like me to present this piece at any other um, event that is coming up, I would uh, gladly do so just um you know ping me this send me went. an email and we can Close. work out with great the glory details the cricket. Um, i'm not very expensive to uh, go around and present my work usually just um, travel expenses and uh um travel expenses and sleeping accommodation food Close. Uh, and with great uh, glory, small fee would be cricket. nice but uh it depends on the kind of event of course so yeah hope you, this video was useful let me know what you guys think on the comments below if you have any questions feel free to ask as well i will be very happy to answer them bye bye see you next time take care